And I, I think that uh, you hit on something that uh, we lose sight of is that we're talking about student athletes that start to get recruited when they're 14 or 15 years old. And the difference between a 15 year old and a 18 year old can be, you know, some of them go through the growth spurt and put on the pounds and the weight early. And there's not a huge difference, but for most of them, there is a, a huge difference. And some of them, uh, burst onto the scene and boom, really show it as freshmen and sophomores. Others take time to again, grow into their bodies and really get comfortable and find themselves and find the right position. You know, it's, it's not where they're not playing both sides of the ball. Most of them, and, and maybe they were given attention somewhere, let's say wide receiver, but they are really a better cornerback for college and they really didn't focus on that. A lot of things happen during a high school football career that changes perspective and evaluation on these guys within a year or two. Yeah. And I think that, that sometimes that kind of gets taken or puts gets pushed aside. Even some kids that kind of blow up early on, like they don't finish high school as well. And, and like you were saying, they may have to switch a position to go do something else, even though they were doing the other one for you know four years. But I, that's something that I've, I feel like Georgia does a really good job at finding out who needs to go where and if they're at a proper position or not. I mean, Tay Crowder is a guy that comes to mind who started college out as a running back and finished it as a linebacker. And now he's really successful in the NFL as a linebacker. So uh, there's just there's one guy. In, but Andrew Paul is somebody that definitely had to grow into himself. And I read a really neat article about him yesterday and how he didn't care that he hit, didn't have any offers early on. He just knew that. As long as he kept working, he would find the place that that would be his next home for the next four years. And he did. And he made a really good statement about if you're a running back, why would you not want to go anywhere but Georgia? And I think Georgia's reputation speaks for that, too. And probably another cool thing is Todd Gurley like, tweeted out and was like, oh, yeah, I got him a good one. And so that seal of approval says everything. But, yeah, I, that's why I have a – I love the recruiting rankings because it gives you something to discuss and talk about and everything. But, like, at the same time, I feel like a lot of kids are they overplay their ex expectations or they overplay their recruiting rankings. And like Lab McConkey was a two or three star, and Georgia took a chance on him, and he was the third leading receiver. Jordan Davis was a three star. And so while I love the recruiting rankings, I think it's almost silly to have them at times for certain kids in certain positions.